and I'm always taking care of the baby for my daughter, and we're very close. We're actually more like sisters than, than we, and people even look at us and say, well, you guys look like sisters. Mm -hmm. We're very close, and it's, it, it's eight years I've been divorced, and it still breaks my heart. And this is my very first time that I have not put up a Christmas tree because I'm in a little tiny apartment until I sell my, my townhouse to the people that I'm renting it to. But I needed to be by my girls. Sad. <laughs> it is sad. Well, it is sad. And I feel bad that after eight years I should get over this, you know. <laughs> and I can't. And I don't know why I can't. You, you should get over what? I guess maybe caring that they care what he thinks mm. and not caring what I think. Well, they do care what you think. I mean, what makes you say that? Well, I guess it's because Mom has always been the understanding one, so it's okay if we don't do something special. I mean, they make his birthday special. They make Father's Day special, even though he can't make it on Father's Day because he runs races. He's a marathon runner. He runs races all the time, so they do Father's Day Two months later until Dad has the time. Mm -hmm. And, um... I, Judy, you need to let go of this. I know, and I'm having a really hard time. This is not good that you're resenting that they have a Father's Day thing with their dad. Two months later... It doesn't matter when it is. It's, that's, that's not the point. The point is, it's not good that you're resenting it. I know. It's very petty. And it's not... Believe me, it's, it's, it's not really petty. Because he has nothing to do with them maybe a couple times a year. Well, but that's not the point. If they want to have a thing with him, then they're his daughters and they should do it. I know, and that's what I always wanted them to do, and I don't know why it makes me feel bad. <laughs> I mean, I really don't know why it makes me feel bad, because that was the one thing I always pushed for, was for him to have a yeah. relationship with them. But see, be careful what you wish for. I know, isn't it? <laughs> Judy, I'm glad you called, and uh, I hope Christmas morning isn't so bad. Mm, I'm going to make it better this year. I hope. I'll talk to you soon. Alan on a payphone. You're on WLS. Hi, Catherine. Hi, Alan. Hey, cool. This is a real sore subject. Um, you know, I don't know if anybody really understands <clears throat> the hurt that you have. That who has? The, the parents. Parents who are divorced from each other. From each other. Yeah. Uh, I've been divorced seven years now. And in seven years, I may have got to spend three Christmases with my kids. Because my ex has done everything she can to alienate me through the time. Your ex has done everything she can to alienate you? Alienate me from the kids. I see. You know, that, that has included moving 1,400 miles away. Mm -hmm. You know, in the name of quote-unquote prosperity. You know, everything, the first year we were split up. I was just 140 miles away. I worked all night, got up Chris, you know, got off work Christmas Day and drove. And she looked me in the eye and she said, you're not invited to mom and you've got an hour to spend with the kids. Better make best of it. So, you know, as a, as a parent, I know I've done everything I can, one, not to interfere in the kid's life, but yet stay involved. Mm -hmm. And it's a, it's a tightrope act that you walk you always walk in a fine line, okay? To add, add complications, if you create another family, then you've got the tug of both of them. Mm -hmm. um, you know, then you've got financial responsibility that you have to meet every month. Then you have, when it comes Christmas time, you don't know which way to go to get the kids because I'm not going to lie to you, I don't know my two kids in Las Vegas. Yeah. They've grown up and away from me. I haven't been there, and, you know, I directly attribute that to their mother. Of course. That's fine. I can, I can deal with that aspect, because that's a decision we made. But her to use the kids as a weapon, and, and use them constantly against me, it's not right. No, it's not right. But it's just what goes on. It goes on. And, you know, like I said... I, you know, the, the way I've dealt with it is, okay, the best way to hang on is to let go. I've been as actively involved as I can. You know, this not only comes back to just the holidays, what about the birthdays? What about, you know, just going out summertime, enjoying a week, you know, taking a week off work, yeah. doing those things. 
I can understand the actor, I think it's John Hurd. I can understand what he means. How can you be a, a hotel father? You know, I'm a, I'm a cross-country truck driver, and that's the only reason I'm in a truck, is to where I can balance the two worlds. You know, get out there and see them as much as I can. So, Alan, I'm, I'm going to need to break here, but are you going to see them this Christmas? No. Um, After Christmas? Not at all? Not at all, because, you know, it, it's it's $800 to, to fly them out. Sure. You know, and, and, you know, she's moved on to San Francisco, which is even further yeah. away. That is. Alan, I've got a break here. Thanks. I'm glad you called. It's 9 before 9 at WLS. So you're listening to these folks and you're saying, here's the deal. Everybody should just stay married. Then we wouldn't have this mess. Or you're in your own situation of divorced parents. You hate the holidays. It's always a hassle. It's always a squabble. Or you're one of those divorced parents who's found a way to make it work. 591-8900, the number at WLS. WLS Chicagoland weather. Cloudy tonight, very cold with occasional snow flurries. A low about 5 above little warmer downtown. Tomorrow, cloudy, very cold with some light snow and a high of 12. Friday, becoming partly sunny, not quite as cold with a high in the mid to upper teens. Right now, it's 9 at O'Hare, 10 at Midway, 8 at DuPage, 12 at the lakefront, and the wind chill is 12 below. And here's a check of WLS traffic at 851 with Ted Novak. Expressways and tollways are in fine shape. No problems out there on the Kennedy, Eden, Eisenhower, Stevenson, or Dan Ryan. Tollways 8094 also in good shape. No overnight road work scheduled, so nothing to mess it up in terms of construction barriers. Lakeshore Drive also moving well. And that we see moving well right through Grand Park via the WLS Panasonic Apercam. When you're on the go and need to know, it's Chicago's Talk Radio 89 WLS. And now, the weather report. And it's wind chill time in Chicago. Well, here you are again, naked in December. That wind comes whipping around the corner, and that's exactly how you feel. But Andreana Furs is on your side in November, December, January, and February with spectacular buys on Chicago's largest selection of classic and designer-styled fur coats. Like a luxurious $6,000 full-length mink, now priced at $2,700 or a lush, full-length $4,000 beaver for only $16.95 with immediate financing. Go for it, gal. Come in, choose your Andreana Furs windbreaker, and go out walking on air. Andreana Furs, at three warm and cozy locations, 333 North Michigan, 919 North Michigan, and 2201 West 95th Street. You'll never feel naked again. Feel the warmth and luxury that you deserve. Andreana Furs. Do you use America Online CompuServe or Prodigy? If the answer is yes, then I have to wonder, why are you paying two or three times as much for Internet access as you should be? My name is Lee Thurburn, chairman of FlashNet. We offer access to the Internet for just $99 per year. That comes to an average of just $8.25 a month when prepaid annually. With those other companies, you can pay $20 per month or more, and FlashNet is just as easy to use. FlashNet provides all the CD-ROM software you need for free. We don't charge by the hour, so you can spend as much time on the net as you wish. And if that's not enough, we also give you an unconditional 30-day money-back guarantee. That's right, just $99 per year with a one-time $30 setup fee, free software, unlimited access, and a 30-day money-back guarantee. Why pay more? FlashNet is fast, reliable, and easy to use. It's the best deal around. You have my word on it. Call FlashNet now at 1-800-FLASH-20. That's 1-800-FLASH-20. It happens almost every weekend this time of year. There's a game on TV. A neighbor, an old friend, a college roommate. Someone drops by the house to watch the action. It's a special kind of camaraderie and warmth that makes for great times and great lifelong friends. This is the ideal time for an easy cocktail. Something not as strong as our regular cocktail, yet something with more character than just another beer or a glass of wine. This is the perfect moment for dry sack on the rocks with a twist of lemon. Dry sack is an amber mellow drink imported from Spain in its famous burlap bag. What better cocktail to offer old friends who have gathered around for good conversation and an exciting game. Dry sack on the rocks with a twist. Perfect for the game. Imported from Spain by William Grant and Sons, New York, New York. Give a first class phone card. Now to post office near you. Give a first class phone card. From the U.S. Postal Service and American Express. Give a first class phone card to someone you love. Give 
have the gift that says it all, a First Class phone card. And right now, get a free $5 phone card with a First Class phone card purchase of $20 or more at participating post offices or call 1-800-AXP-POST. Offer expires January 15, 97. Morning, Bill. How you doing? Hi, Ernie Kite, Mr. Dawkins. Amy, how was your trip? Still on it, Jack. If your employees were this honest with you, maybe you'd be honest with yourself. Two out of three drug users have jobs, so drugs probably are in your workplace. That was my favorite bean counter. Please, man. A drug-free workplace program can help your employees and your bottom line. Call 1-800-WORKPLACE. The Partnership for a Drug-Free America and Illinois. I'm Ro Khan. Hi, I'm Gary Meyer. Big problem down in Florida. There's a stain on the side of a public building, but some people say they see the Virgin Mary in it. Okay, now if you read the Bible, it says that at some point we will be worshiping a sprinkler stain. Could be. John Gotti Jr. gets his hand on a Tickle Me Elmo doll. We'll you got tell a you problem how. with that? No, not at all, sir. <laughs> about a Rub Me Out doll? And the Countdown to Communism calendar, a special Thursday edition. That's all coming up tomorrow on WLS between 2 and 6, the Big 89. It's a couple of minutes before 9 o'clock on the Catherine Johns program. 591-8900 is the number. Uh, we've been talking about children of divorce and happy holidays, and very often they're not so happy. And we've heard from a lot of unhappy people. Marilyn in Lombard, you're on WLS. Hi, Catherine. First time caller. Glad you're here. Oh, keep singing with the Christmas carols. You're getting me through my bathroom cleaning tonight. <laughs> I know you'd like that. Uh-huh. Uh, I, it's, such, it's so sad listening to all the people that are divorced and this one woman that thought her kids were paying more attention. Mm -hmm. to her, I felt so sorry for her. And my, I'm cleaning now, getting ready for my college-age kids uh, to come home. And they do turn around. There is hope because she's giving them the things that they need. And maybe not the things they want, but Dad might be giving them some of the superficial things they want. And they're meeting Dad's uh, demands. It's mm -hmm. just, just about more or less what it is. And they're trying to keep up with Dad. But if they come to you with their problems, Mom, what will I do? Or whichever side it is, Mom or Dad. And uh, uh, they come with you in advice. Uh, that's what they need. And they will remember that. And it may not happen right away. But hang in there because you're giving them the things that they have to get to survive. And that's important. That's the real... Heroes take out the garbage and change the babies and get food on the table. And that's what she's doing. Fair enough. Yeah, so that's uh, just... I just felt so sorry for her. I thought that's, that's not what you need to be looking at for Christmas. No. Well, also, there's the thing of... You know, love is not a zero-sum game. It's not like, right. you know, if they love Dad, then they love Mom less. No, that's what You know, it's perfectly possible for them to have deep affection for both. Right. And not to regard it as taking away something from her. Yeah, that's true. So, but when they get, it, you know, sometimes you may never see it, or there may be a little glimmer that, oh, what do I do with this problem? Or they come yeah. with all this. Marilyn, I'm sorry, I've got a break. i got the news coming down the line. I'll talk to you soon. It's 9 o'clock. Chicago's Best Talk. Talk Radio 89. W from ABC News. I'm Catherine Smith. A delivery to the Japanese ambassador's residence in Lima, Peru. Rebels allowed the Red Cross to bring in food and supplies for the hundreds of hostages. This as an elderly hostage who's ill has just been freed. Four diplomats were released earlier in the day on the condition they would aid in the negotiations. One is the Canadian ambassador. John Bell of the Canadian Foreign Ministry says they're looking for a peaceful end to this standoff. We expect um, that, you know, the negotiations will go on um, uh, as long as it'll take to hopefully reach a peaceful conclusion to this whole thing. Uh, ambassador Vincent um, and the others are have left uh, the residence in order to, to try to accomplish just that. Six Americans are believed to be among the hostages. Rebels are demanding the release of comrades jailed in Peru. The FBI tracked down a suspected traitor inside the intelligence agency. ABC's Bill Greenwood says Earl Pitts had access to sensitive security information during his 13 years with the Bureau. Federal officials say Earl Pitts had served as a counterintelligence officer 
with access to a wide range of highly classified information, including operations to recruit Russian informants. FBI Director Louis Free says Pitts told the Russians everything he knew, including the name of one Russian informant. In exchange, he was paid an estimated quarter of a million dollars. Please come back for the next semester. That from the Citadel's president to the female cadets who say they were hazed. General Clifton Pohl says the school's campus is safe and he hopes the female cadets return to the military college next year. The two women who've complained are now taking final exams and they've not decided yet whether to return. A photo expert for the defense says he believes there's a good possibility that an incriminating photograph of O.J. Simpson is a forgery. Photo technician Robert Groden testified today before the trial went into recess until Friday when Simpson is to take the stand. Now this. You'll find helpful folks in Benicia, California. You'll find helpful folks in Chattanooga, Tennessee. When there's something you need to know, season with GE Holiday Lighting. Choose from a broad selection of the classic styles of standard size and miniatures to specialty products. Plus a variety of tree toppers that would add the finishing touch to any tree. All GE Holiday Lighting products are UL listed, guaranteed to light, and are designed to keep the set operating even if one or more bulbs burns out. Deck your whole house up with a festive glow for the holidays. GE Holiday Lighting. Available at your nearest Ace Hardware store. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware folks. Folks across the South are as prepared as they can be for a blast of winter weather. Canton, Georgia got about two inches of snow, not enough for the plows and the sanders. Captain Jim Harvey in the Cherokee County Sheriff's Office isn't sorry that the storm kind of fizzled out. It's actually a, a blessing to us because whenever you have that much of snow and ice on the roadway, especially in this area, it causes a lot of havoc, a lot of confusion. The schools closed. People aren't used to driving on it. Other parts of Georgia and Alabama could get up to four inches of snow by tomorrow morning. Half the flights were canceled at Atlanta's Hartsfield Airport. Freeze warnings are up tonight in North Florida. Olympic skater Nancy Kerrigan has a new title. She's a new mom. She gave birth to a son she named Matthew Solomon at a Boston hospital, and she expects to be home just in time for Christmas with her new bundle. I'm Catherine Smith, ABC News. This has been a presentation of ABC News. More Americans get their news from ABC News than from any other source. Good evening, I'm Ted Novak, checking WLS traffic and weather at 9.04. Well, you have some good news in the Romeoville area. Both directions of 53 have been reopened now between Normantown and Chambers. Wraps up that accident investigation and all traffic is moving through there okay. Now, our expressways and tollways are in great shape. No problems at all on the Dan Ryan, Stevenson, Eisenhower, Kennedy, or Edens. Lakeshore Drive, 8094, and our tollway is also in fine shape and no overnight road work scheduled for this evening. WLS Chicagoland weather, cloudy, very cold tonight, occasional snow flurries. Lows range from about 5 in the suburbs, 10 lakeside. Cloudy and continued cold tomorrow, occasional light snow. Accumulations of an inch or two are possible. Highs 10 to 15, then becoming partly sunny, not quite as cold Friday. Highs in the mid to upper teens, almost a warming trend. Currently it's 8 at O'Hare, 9 Midway, 7 to Page County. WLS temperature along the lakefront, 11 in the windchill at O'Hare, 13 below. When you're on the go and need to know, it's Chicago's Talk Radio 89 WLS. Honey? Yeah? This Christmas, I'd like some special software. Oh, uh, I hate going to those stores. No! I... What? I'm talking about the Lotus Smart Suite 96 upgrade for Windows 95. Oh. And you can find it at Electech. Uh, Electech? Awesome. It gets better. Oh, yeah? The Lotus Smart Suite 96 upgrade includes five powerful applications. Ooh. Lotus 123 Release 5, mm -hmm. Lotus Word Pro 96, yeah. Lotus Approach 96, wow. Lotus Freelance 96, uh -huh. and Lotus Organizer 2.1. Oh, really? Great. Electech salespeople speak a language I can understand, and they have over 2,000 software titles. They even have a price match guarantee. Not to mention the lowest prices every day. Let's and right go. now, Electech has the Lotus Smart Suite 96 upgrade for only $89.99 after the $50 cashback rebate, <laughs> plus a free CD upgrade to Lotus 97. When it comes to computers, Electech can help. Hun, you know what else I'd really like to upgrade? What? <laughs> Those fuzzy pink slippers. Oh. You miss a day, you miss a lot. Chicago's Talk Radio, the Big 89. WLS. Catherine Dunn.
Jimmy in Oak Park. You're on WLX. Yes, uh, I'm calling... First of all, to say that I do, I do think you do a very good job. Well, thanks. You're uh, in the minority. ABC has, or uh, WLS has picked the perfect person. Uh, you get the fires going and the juice is flowing. Six minutes after 9 o'clock on the cast.